In this module, we're going to do an overview on the web portal. So this is the web page. I'm going to log in. And we're going to go over all of these options right here and explain each and every one of them. So the first screen here is the system information. We have the version of the firmware that you're running. It will be listed right here. The name of the gateway, which is what I gave it during the installation. The MAC address of the device. Very helpful if you need to have any information about the hardware, that's your MAC address. We have the day and timestamp, the internet information, what IP address you're connected to. If you have the Watchtower app on your mobile device, you can pair your mobile device at this point. Also, if there's any notifications, they'll all appear in the notifications page and that's your system overview right here. The security dashboard. These are the features that are enabled. You can turn on and off features right from this window. So for example, I can go ahead and just turn it off. Also, you can adjust the settings associated with that. So I can just click over firewall and it will take me to the access policy tab. So you can see now I'm on a different tab and this is the firewall settings. So at the moment, it's going to allow traffic to the internet on all services, allow traffic between internal networks, block the incoming traffic, and then applications and URL filtering. The default is to block security risk categories. And of course, you can change it all to match your specific needs. So let's go back to the home screen and go to security management. Security management, this device is set up to be locally managed. If we change that around to central, we'll just follow the instructions and we'll be able to connect this gateway to be managed by your central management. But we'll do a video on that later on in this training. If you have a cloud service provider that's managing the device, this is where you are going to configure that. When you click on configure right here, it's going to ask you for an activation key and the details from your cloud service provider. And then we have licensing. Right now we're running on a trial license. You can see that right here. Also, we have the sitemap. This is just a different interface to get to all the menus and settings that are available on this web page. Under monitoring, we have our notifications. If you want to set up your settings, we can just go here and select what you want to get notified about. Active devices. This is going to be the machines that are connected to the device. At this point right now, I only have my Windows 7 machine, so I can see the IP address, the MAC address, device details allowed, and the interface I'm connected through. If I'll go to monitoring, I can see that right now we don't have too much traffic going through the firewall. I can see the amount of VPN tunnels, how many active devices and the connections. And if I click on connections, I can actually see the connections. And you'll notice that the menu have changed because now this is a different menu. So as I mentioned before, everything is linked. So it's going to take you back and forth from the menu. Let's go back. If you go down here to reports, we can actually generate a report that would give you information about the output of a device. And that can be generated by clicking the generate right here. We can do it monthly, weekly, daily, or even by the hour. Also from this home view, we have troubleshooting. So we can monitor system resources, show the routing table, test cloud service ports, generate a CP info file. So you can do that over CLI or you can just do it right here. You can ping a machine, a DNS lookup, or even run a packet capture. So I can go ahead and click this and I can see it checked connectivity and everything is okay. The ports are open, so we're good. Here we have the support page. So we have a lot of contact information and also some available downloads. I can download the local manual. I can download drivers. Again, I have the MAC address, version number, and more. That concludes the web portal overview module.